Hello everyone, okay this video uh, might be a bit shit, uh, I'm not sure we'll see uh, because it's uh, it's uh, not going to be edited very well uh, because I realised I didn't have a video ready for Monday. So on the good, no good news though, on, the, on a better note, uh, the Wi-Fi pumpkin is complete, it's ready, it's working, I have a GitHub page set up uh, which shows how I set it all up and um, got it ready. One thing that I didn't really go over much in the GitHub page, I sort of covered over what hardware I was using. I didn't really cover over how it was put together, so I thought I'd do um, this video around that. So for anyone who doesn't know, this is uh, basically a cheap knockoff of a Wi-Fi pineapple made by Hack5, which is a wireless pen testing tool. Uh, and this is my attempt to make a, a cheap knockoff version of it. And it, it it works pretty well. There's a couple of things if it was doing a version 2, if I do that, when I do that, a um, couple of things I would change um, and I'll sort of talk about them as, as I get into it but going around the outside of it we have here this is a USB-C port, this is to charge it. Uh, we've got a um, switch to turn everything on and off. There's also a cable here, hopefully that's not important. Uh, let's open it up. Nope, it's not. Good. Hmm, yep, as I said, unedited. A little, little piece of wire came out. Hopefully that's not part of anything important. Um, so you can see here we've got 3.7 volt uh, lithium cell. A Alifa wireless adapter that I've just decased. I've just taken out of its um, plastic covering. Uh, the charge controller there, the USB-C charge controller. A switch which is connected um, via the ground. So the ground wire coming from this uh, to the Raspberry Pi is going through this switch. Um, also, I'll draw out the actual diagram in a minute. Um, and in here, you can see we've got a little. Um, this is a little boost converter, because this is three volts is what this will supply. Raspberry Pi is quite happy to run on three volts. The wireless adapter, not so much. Um, so one one of the things that I would change right away is I would add another wireless adapter. I would have two of these. The reason being is at the minute um, the, the victim's traffic comes in through this antenna into this board into the Raspberry Pi and then out the Raspberry Pi's wireless interface, its own inbuilt one which isn't fantastic, it's it's slow-ish it's not too bad, I mean I, I was running um, 1080p YouTube videos while, while connected to this just passed through so and, and it worked fine um, how that will stack with lots more people on there, I don't know. I'm assuming not very well. Another reason that this is bad is that I have to pre-configure this with an access point before I go out to wherever it is I'm going to. So I have to preload it with whatever information there is. Because if I turn this on and it doesn't have an access point to connect to, I don't actually have any way to connect into this because the access point doesn't start up right away, the, the uh, Wi-Fi uh, pumpkin, which is the software that's running on this. Now, so yeah, so changing it, I would I would add two of these, and then I would actually set up the Raspberry Pi's own Wi-Fi as a management port, so that it'll start up right away. The reason I don't have Wi-Fi Pumpkin starting up right away is because it really didn't seem to like it. Um, it any any way I tried to actually get it to start automatically as soon as the Raspberry Pi boots, it it just wouldn't it just wouldn't run well, and it was glitchy, and it was a bit messy so as I say I would I would add another one of these so that I can then do the traffic through them and then have this uh, set uh, the Wi-Fi on this set as a, as a management um, access point that I can connect to and then I was going to make a flask web interface so whenever I connect to it I've then got a nice web interface that I can set up the SSID of whatever it is I want the Raspberry Pi to connect to and also do some configuration on Wi-Fi Pumpkin as well. So Wi-Fi Pumpkin has an API and stuff. So I don't know whether that'd be the easiest way of doing it. I haven't haven't messed about with Flask too much. Um, so I don't know what the best way to actually get Flask to interact with Wi-Fi Pumpkin. But eh, that's that's a future development. So this is the guts of it. Um, as you can see, the there's a couple of hacky things I had to do in this. So this takes a uh, micro USB, so I had a micro USB to USB adapter. This takes USB mini, which I didn't have a small enough cable for, so you might be able to see that. Hopefully I can bring that closer. You can see that's all heat shrinked. 
Um, that's because I didn't have a cable short enough, so I just took my normal long cable, cut it, and then reconnected everything back together. Um, wouldn't recommend doing that. It was, a, it was a bit of a hack job, but it works reasonably well. So that's that's basically the guts of it. There's not a whole lot to it. Uh, I'm now going to go through how it's all wired up and I'll get a whiteboard so that I can actually draw that out. Uh, the case is just, this is just a, this was a clear plastic case. I think I got some radio parts in this at some point, I can't remember. Um, and so I just spray painted it uh, green. And um, that, as you can see it there, that was the original colour or lack thereof on it. But um, yeah, it's it's quite cool. I I, I like it. I like it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get a whiteboard and I will uh, show you how this is uh, wired up. Okay, apologies for the uh, lighting change there, but the um, the overhead lights are fluorescent and um, yeah, you get you get strobing on the camera, so I had to turn them off. And um, so hopefully this is still um, easy enough to see. So the way that we have this wired up, um, I've got the battery. Uh, there is actually a way that these are meant to be. I can't remember which way that's meant to be, but we'll just do it like that. Uh, so that's the plus, that's the minus. We then have that feeding into one of these little circuit boards. Ah, come on, get off. Ah, no, they're all, they're all connected together here. We've got a load of them. Um, hopefully you can see that. So you've got the USB-C in. And then the inside poles are battery positive, battery negative, and then out positive, out negative on the far side. And that's basically how we have that wired up. So I'm just going to have this going to, uh, so we'll call this a uh, charging circuit, so CC. And it has a bat plus negative and an out. Uh, plus and negative, oops, negative, and that is set up exactly as you would expect, oh, nicely, like so, and then we have the output here. Now, the output of this is first off going to a switch, the negative going to a switch, a normally open switch. And then the plus is just going out, and then this switch is then going to one of these. Uh, hopefully, I can get into this. As I said this is unedited, so you're getting everything, no polish. I can only apologise. Maybe you like these videos. These videos are a lot easier to do. So if you like this style, um, I can do a lot more of them, a lot quicker. So this is the little circuit. This is a boost converter. So this is taking the three volts. Um, actually, I should have that marked there. Apologies. So it's actually 3.7 volt. Oh, that's that's horrendous. So it's 3.7 volt. Uh, the CC actually also has, uh, let's just actually make that a proper thing. Um, and we'll put this out here. I know this is getting messy, but we'll, uh, this is a five volt in so this, this is the this takes in the usb you can tell i draw diagrams like this for a living don't you um and so something to note on this is that it's a shared ground so the five volt and the v in their grounds both need to go to that pin it is a tight fit okay so the five volt is obviously the output and the v in is the input from here so this goes into v in on this little uh, little board uh, that is the negative, and then you've got the ground. So actually, let's just draw this as a little like that. So you've got the VN there, you got that, and that. This one is the ground, and this one is the 5 volts out. So do that. So the ground has to go up into there. And the V in into there. Um, I'll actually do. I will do a, a diagram. I'm planning to do a diagram and actually putting it up onto the GitHub, which will be drawn somewhat better than this. And um, so that's that little thing there. Now the point is, is that the ground also has to go out to the actual Raspberry Pi, which is now where these are going to go. So we'll have. Uh, just call this Pi, and we'll do a nice little rectangle. 
and it's got all of its GPIO pins over there. Now, the ground can go to any ground on the Pi. I think there's a couple down here. The one I used, it's the first pin on the top right hand side of the Pi. Um, I don't have one handy. Oh, I do. Let's, let's open this boy up. So you can see, I'm using these two up here. Uh, or two up here. The very top right hand side one is the 3 volt line. Don't use that. Because if you feed in 5 volts into 3 volt line, you're going to start frying things. The next one down is the 5 volt. And then the one immediately down from that is also the ground. And so that's what we will uh, connect into. Uh, messy as hell, I know. Apologies, it'll go into there. And then that goes into there. Thing of beauty, isn't it? Um, so yeah, you can, you can connect the ground to any of the grounds on this but you need to make sure that both grounds are going back to this chip or at the very least they're connected in some way so uh, now the, the way that I done it on this one maybe not the best way is probably quite hard to see you can see I've got the wire that's coming from the charge controller and the wire that's coming from here both soldered directly onto that pin an easier way to do that would be to connect those two wires together and then have a, just a single wire going up to that ground um, rather than trying to solder two directly onto that pin because it is a tight squeeze this is a very 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 small uh, PCB and soldering two on there is is difficult to do so I would recommend that of just connect those two wires together or just have it as a single wire and then have a wire coming off connecting to that ground and then you've got your 3 volt into there and your 5 volt into there and that's it, that's, that's how it's wired up. That will then give you power. Um, and then the Pi obviously has the USB connection out to the... Uh, to the uh, out to the wireless adapter. And that's it, turn the switch on. We'll run. Um, the little uh, I've got links on the GitHub page to all of these things. These charge controllers are absolutely fantastic. Uh, they, they handle everything, uh, low voltage protection, all that good stuff they make sure that, that battery isn't going to blow up anytime soon which is very very nice so i would definitely recommend getting that this there are many different variations of um the little boost converter i just used this one because it was small and i was tight on space um so if you wanted you could use any three volt the three to four volt um th these batteries whenever they're fully charged can get up to four volt so make sure it can handle four volts uh, but make sure that it's got a nice steady 5 volt output. So that's it. That's that's the hardware side of the uh, Wi-Fi pumpkin. Um, software side, honestly, their docs are the best place to go. There's plenty of people on YouTube show how to use the actual um, pumpkin framework. I will do one later on, but obviously that takes a, a lot more time than this to do. Um, if you enjoy these kinds of unedited raw for want of a better word videos like this um, just let me know because I, I can I can do these a lot easier than I can do my other videos so uh, let me know but yeah thanks for watching like subscribe all that stuff check out the TikTok I, I do uh, my videos are ahead on TikTok because I do them more regularly because they're easier to do and I sort of do them as I'm as I'm uh, building devices so if you want to see that check out the TikTok um, when I'm not banned uh, they they don't like cybersecurity, so I get banned a lot. So check, but check that out. Um, and yeah, I shall see you later.